Nardine, that was a great fight. How exciting for was it, was it for you to hear the crowd roaring as you got that big takedown and that huge elbow in the third? Um, I'm very happy. The, the crowd uh, supported me. First victory at the at the Bell Center in hometown. So yeah, I'm, I was very excited and uh, I'm, uh, I'm very happy. Now, you've always said that you embraced the war. Were you surprised at how tough Chris Collins was? Is he kind of hit him with everything? No, I'm not, I'm not surprised. I knew he was a tough guy and he will never give up uh, no matter where the fight will be. So I'm just surprised of myself uh, because um, I wasn't expected to go on, on, uh, on the grappling match and run and pound stuff. Uh, I really want to, uh, to strike with him, but he was very uh, awkward and, you know, wants to brawl and I don't like to brawl when, when the guy wants to brawl. Uh, I don't like to go on 50-50, I want, I want to go on, uh, on, on 100%, you know what I mean? So I felt, I felt the, the thing this way, so I went for the, for the takedown and stuff. So and I'm very happy because the, the, the crowd know, knows me as a striker and they support me uh, wherever the fight goes, so I'm very happy with that. Were you able to figure out pretty soon just the, you know just the, the strength that you had over him? That seemed to be a big factor throughout the, the fight. Was that something you were able to notice early on in the fight and a way you would about, have an advantage? About him? Yeah, no, over, about, over him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, yeah, I, felt, I, I knew I had an advantage uh, against him. It was my, uh, my speed mm -hmm. and uh, my cardio and my uh, explosiveness. So I, I knew it would, be, it would be a factor to, uh, to win this fight, so I applied. There was that one moment where he was going for the the Kimura. Did, did he have it locked? Was it was it something that you recollect? He had, he had it locked, but uh, you know I'm uh, I'm kind of open uh, sometimes with uh, with the Kimura. If somebody uh, sees it, so uh, I'm used to uh, defend it uh, pretty well. And uh, uh, it, it was because my uh, the, the way I started the, the training camp, I was supposed to fight uh, Claudio Silva, and I saw he was a Kimura guy, so. I had uh, like uh, six weeks training against him if he had a, a Kimura, so so um, I, w I was good at defending it. I, w I wasn't surprised. I was just surprised that Chris Clement got it. So after that, it was just a, a reflex to defend it well. Mm -hmm. Now, you mentioned that after this, you'd like to see a step up in your competition. Do you have your eye on anyone in the welterweight division in particular? Or? Uh, no, for the moment, I don't, I don't have uh, any guy uh, in, in target, so... I'm, I'm new in the UFC. I'm, I'm three and zero. So, I'm, I'm, even if I'm 34, I'm, I'm a young fighter because I only have uh, 13 fights. So I want, I want to keep improving, and hopefully the, the next fight they will give me, um, they will give me somebody, uh, maybe a striker because I, I'm, I, I want to strike and I want to show my, my striking ability for for the next fight. Really, really. So hopefully they, they give me somebody uh, well rounded with it and um, and has like a. Very, Somebody fight the very technical way and not try to blow. And I'm a fist me from far like that. I'm always like, no way, seriously. So uh, I went for it. That's, that's why I went for for take now. Was your corner expecting that, especially in the third round, that he was kind of going to be going for broke, trying to goad you into that style of fight? Oh, but, but they knew they knew me very well. My, my coaches. I'm, I'm very blessed because I'm surrounded by by, by coaches uh, very dedicated to the sport and uh, we're very close. Each other, so they they know perfectly uh, what what I'm doing and on which situation I will do it. So they they never be surprised of whatever the fight goes. They they will know how I react exactly uh, step by step.